Hey everyone, welcome back to Garnet Reviews and welcome to a very special listing. This is a 1991 Hatteras cockpit motor yacht that measures 70 foot in length. At the time of shooting this video, she was up for sale in Palm Coast, Florida for $575,000. And this is one of only a few factory full walk around models and benefits from a multi purpose aft cockpit. If you're into diving, if you're into offshore fishing, having access much closer to the water level is going to prove to be real beneficial for you. And on the extended bathing platform, you'll see we've got that freedom boat lift, as well as a 12 foot rib that is powered by a 40 horsepower outboard. As we make our way into the aft cockpit, notice how much space you have, as well as how many rod holders you have. You've got a lazarette that gives you access to all the steering gear. Plenty of storage options down here. Ideal for keeping all your fishing tackle equipment, spares for the tender, and cleaning materials. So only a few short steps up and that takes you into the aft deck. And as you do, you start to grasp the full size of this yacht. She's 70 foot in length and she's got a beam of over 18 feet. You see here we've got a fixed cockpit table and there's easily seating for four adults. But there's still plenty of room to walk around. And speaking of walk around, as I make my way around this yacht, although it says 1991, it should also say 2008. Because in 2008, this one went through such a major refit inside and out. Including having the hull, deck and superstructure repainted. There's a lot of upgrades to the interior and major overhauls in the engine room. I love how much access you have as you make your way to the bow. And this one does have a lower helm, so having that side door to both the port and starboard deck is perfect. We then have the board and gangway mounted on the side as well. And then as we make our way to the bow, you'll see they've got a seating area that's built into the actual superstructure. This would be perfect whether you're cruising or whether you're at anchor. You've got fresh water wash down system up here. We've got an electric windlass, and this can be operated at the bow, but it can be also be operated at both the helm and the flybridge. And note this windlass has got a winch on it, so if you're ever going through the lock gates, you'll really see the benefit of that one. And then as I pan the camera around, you'll just see that impressive, timeless classic design. And if you thought the outside was impressive, wait till we step inside. Throughout the entire yacht, this one has got phenomenal headroom. I'm six foot two and I have no issues anywhere. You've got very comfortable seating. I love the large windows that we have for all that natural light. The woodwork's got a great finish to it and helps give that nautical feel to it as well. And for both relaxation and for entertainment, we do have a large pop-up TV. This TV is connected to direct TV. And we also have got a stereo system that plays throughout the entire yacht too. Making our way to the galley, this one's got a breakfast nook design to it. You've got the granite countertops and look how much countertop space we have. This is perfect if you're into things like your George Foreman's and your air fryers, but there's also plenty of room that you really could prepare your favourite meals. All the appliances that we have here are all GE, and that includes a dishwasher, we've got a cooktop and oven, we've got a microwave convection oven, and you get the full height side-by-side -side fridge freezer. Plenty of storage drawers, lockers, cabinets as well, for all your pots and pans, but also for all your canned goods and groceries. And I want to pay special attention to the deck that's on this one. It's got that parquet floor design to it, and normally when you get on older boats, all these little pieces are out of place and it's rough to walk on and things like that, but this one's in immaculate condition. You've then got an additional seating area with a cockpit table again on the starboard side. But this one really does let you bring all your friends and family on board with you to enjoy. Then moving forward towards the pilot house, we do have a pantry in here. And then we've got a phenomenal pilot house for long distance cruising. This one's got so much space it's easy to walk around. you got large seating here for a husband and wife at the helm. There's storage underneath that seat. There's plenty of space in there for all your charts, paperwork. There's more storage lockers off to the side. As I mentioned earlier, we do have side access to the deck. And if you are into doing the paper charts and the log books, there's plenty of space up here to lay that stuff out. We then have a very comprehensive dash layout. So to begin with, you've got your Raymarine multifunction display. You've then got your windlass controls, full engine instrumentation, 
And this concludes all your pressure gauges. And I was impressed with how clear all the instrumentation is to read. You don't have any issues with all the screens getting hazed out or anything fading on you. And as well as having a comprehensive dash in front of you, we do also have more space up overhead. We already have some monitoring systems installed up here. You've also got your Ferrino, this is an RD30. Then next to that, you've got your standard Verizon VHF radio. To help improve the maneuverability of the yacht, especially in closed quarters, this one's got both bow and stern thrusters. You then have your autopilot next to that. You've got your four level engine controls. And then down below the wheel, you'll notice here we've got all the gauges for the tanks, but you also have controls for your NIAID stabilizers. This is an extremely capable, well equipped long distance cruiser that's just ready to go. And from the lower helm, we do have easy access up to the flybridge. I'll take you up there later in the video. But I like the fact that you've got access to the flybridge without having to go outside. Where I'd like to take you next is if we go back through to the saloon, you've got this side access way, and this leads down to the owner's stateroom. I was impressed with how illuminated the stairway is. You've also got plenty of handholds, and the steps themselves are easy to get up and down, they're not too steep. And I also want to point out, this has got a very soft carpet down here. I didn't have any shoes on at this point, and it is extremely comfortable to walk on. And then as you make your way aft into the owner's stateroom, you'll see that this one benefits from near full beam at over 18 feet. And that allows you to have a king-size centerline berth with easy access on either side. And as I pan the camera around, you can just see all the different storage cabinets and drawers that we have available. You've got plenty of natural light. I've got a large TV up here as well. Full height hanging locker space. This has got lights in here as well as been cedar lined. I was impressed with all the lighting that's installed in here. It's recessed into the headlining. The headline and the panel in itself is in great condition. And I've got well over 200 videos on my YouTube channel at this point. And as we walk into the heads compartment, I think this is the first yacht I've ever featured that not only has a toilet, but it's also got a bidet. Plenty of countertop space at the sink. Storage your toiletries and personal belongings. But as I slide open that door into the shower, you'll see this one's actually got a bathtub that's got a built-in jacuzzi. And also as I pan the camera around and you catch my reflection on the mirror, note how much headroom I've got. And as I make my way out of the cabin, also take a look at the woodwork. There is no sign of any stains, leaks, or any sort of issues like that. This is an extremely well maintained yacht. And up next is basically a utility room. This includes both a washer and a dryer for full laundry facilities. Helps keep your clothes clean, but also is going to give you fresh linens, towels, things like that. You'll also notice in here we've got a number of spares, as well as mechanicals and tools. And there's a good reason for that, because it's down here we also have full height walk-in engine room access. And as I mentioned, this engine room benefited from a lot of expense, time, money and effort spent on it in 2008. And here you're going to find the Ornan 25 kilowatt generator. But more importantly, you're going to find a pair of Detroit diesels. These are 12 V92 diesel engines. They got 1,040 horsepower each. That's going to give you a fast cruising speed around 17 knots and a maximum speed of around 20 knots. We've got 345 gallons of fresh water. We've got 180 gallons of holding tank. And we've got just over 6,300 gallons and that's split across four tanks for fuel. And I've often said the easier it is to service and maintain the engines, the more likelihood that's been done. And in this case, there's plenty of documentation that goes with it that just shows how much work has been invested here. This engine room is also well ventilated. We do also have a water maker installed on board. There's a total of eight air conditioning compressors. You got the full fire suppression system. There's a central vacuum system installed. And we got a 40 gallon hot water heater. I'm making our way down to the lower accommodation on the bow. Again, you've got easy access down those steps. 
And if I make my way to the very bow itself, you got a forward bunk cabin. And this cabin has got tremendous natural light, as you can see, because it's got a large hatch overhead. Even this far forward in the yacht, I still don't have any issue with headroom. The top bunk also benefits having an opening porthole for both light and ventilation. And on the port side of the cabin, you're going to find plenty of storage. We get different drawers, lockers, there's a sliding cabinet. This is definitely a yacht that was designed for long-term liveaboard use. And again, look at the condition of the cabin. There's no signs of anything peeling off the walls. There's no obvious signs of any damage. you got more storage underneath that bottom bunk. And then on the forward bulkhead, there's a really clever design which I like. This is where you access the anchor locker, but it's actually behind the artwork. The artwork itself is basically the doors. And I liked how it's got that camouflage effect to it. This forward cabin is fully en suite, and here you're going to find the toilet. You've got the sink with plenty of storage again for your toiletries and personal belongings. And you've also got the shower. And in that shower you'll notice that it's actually got like a seat moulded into the fibreglass. So if you ever want to sit down and take a shower you've definitely got that option in here. And then as we leave this cabin we start to head aft. Next up is another heads compartment. And this one in particular benefits from having a large hatch overhead. There's a ton of natural light and ventilation in here. And the primary use for this heads compartment is going to be for the guest cabin that is on the port side. And in here you're going to find this is a two twin berths. And again you get that very soft carpet. you got storage underneath the beds. you got a storage locker between the two beds. And as the camera zooms in a little closer, look at the woodwork that's in here. It's presented in excellent condition. And up overhead we do have a large hatch, again giving you more light and ventilation. And then if we start to head aft, I actually did a walkthrough of this yacht without the camera first. And when I came down to the forward section, I actually thought this was the owner's stateroom. But this is a forward VIP guest stateroom. But in here you're going to find a queen size island berth. I love how all the colours of all the different materials in here complement each other. You've got that great shine off the woodwork. Again as the camera picks me up on the mirror you can see the headroom I've got in here. Plenty of storage options in here with all the different drawers, lockers and cabinets. You've even got full height hanging lockers which they're currently using for the wet weather gear. And again, this locker space is cedar lined and it's got the light in here. It's also got a little shelf at the top that you could use for putting things like your shoes on. And on the opposite side of the cabin, you've got another full height locker space. So you could also do this where you could have a his and hers. Keep everything separate. And if I close the door over that leads into the cabin, you'll see here that this one is fully en suite. And as with the owner's stateroom, this one's also got both a toilet and another bidet. Plenty of storage in this head compartment for all your toiletries and personal belongings. And the head compartment is part of the reason I thought this was the owner's stateroom when I first saw the yacht. Because again, inside the shower compartment, you're going to find that this one has got a bathtub that's got a built-in jacuzzi to it as well. And even simple things for how well this yacht's maintained, the shower door slides open and close very easily. Normally in older boats things start to become off track, but you can't say that with this one. And if we go back up to the pilot house, I'll show you the easy access that we have up to the flybridge. And if this was my yacht, I'd be doing most of my cruising from the flybridge. You've got the front section, that has got the large bimini canopy covers, giving you shade and protection. There is so much seating up here for your friends and family to join you. There's storage underneath most of the seats that you see here. And although we've got that rib down in the freedom lift on the bathing platform, we do also have a £1,500 davit on the flybridge. And there's plenty of space back here. You could put another tender, perhaps a jet ski. Look at the condition of the paintwork that's on the deck out here. This has got non-slip material and it works great. We also have the life raft up here. There's plenty of handholds on the flybridge, and I like the fact the seating area's also got like a little gate, so that way if you do have children or pets up here, you don't need to worry about them running 
tripping and falling anywhere. And then at the helm itself, we've got two helm seats. And you've got most of the instrumentation that we have down below. You've got your full engine instrumentation. Raymarine multifunction display. You've got your bow and stern thrusters. You've got your autopilot. You've got your controls for your stabilizers. All your tank gauges, pressure gauges. And there's also plenty of room here if you ever wanted to add additional electronics. You could easily add more if you wanted to without reinventing the wheel, so to speak. And then standing at the helm as I pan round, you can see we've got fantastic visibility, especially when it comes to doing close quarter manoeuvring. I'd like to thank Joe once again for the opportunity. Come on board and check this one out. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments. If you can leave a comment down below. If you haven't done so already, if you can hit that like and subscribe button, it really does make a difference. And I'll look forward to catch you on the next one. Thanks, everyone.